gonna like go all Karen on this <laughs> on this YouTube video. I have seen so many people searching for the Dave app, asking if it was a scam. I decided to go undercover, search as much as I can about these predicaments and let you guys know. Is Dave actually a scam or is Dave legit? And if it's not a scam, then why are people saying that it is and why are they claiming that Dave is taking their money? <laughs> Okay, so the first common thing that I saw was that Dave is a scam because it charges, it automatically charges for tips. So I've actually used the Dave app myself. I've set up an account, I've taken out a cash advance. So this is understandable why someone would say that because Dave's tipping option is automatically set at a certain amount of money and you have to actually go in and manually change it to zero dollars if you don't wanna leave a tip. Some people miss this and they don't expect to get charged and then the charge shows up or they can't find a way to get that tip to zero. So Dave does make it a little bit difficult to manually change it. So this first problem is not a scam. It is user error mixed with Dave making things a little bit difficult, <laughs> probably in the hopes that people are going to tip them, right? Okay, so the second thing I've seen floating around isn't necessarily that Dave is a scam in and of itself, but it was saying like, if you don't leave a tip, you get a lower cash advance from Dave because they're trying to get tips from people. So this is actually false. Um, the tip that you leave does not affect the amount that you earn. The tip is just extra if you wanna leave it or not. So what does affect the amount that you qualify for is your bank account history pretty much. So if Dave finds something in your account that it doesn't like or it doesn't like trust you, as much, it's going to give you a lower advance. So I know that Dave claims that it can give you a cash advance up to $500, but this is unrealistic for the majority of the population when they are taking out their first cash advance. In the beginning, this is with all cash advance apps, not just Dave, it's going to give you a smaller amount because you need to build trust and it's worried that you're not gonna be able to pay back the amount. So why is it going to shell out $500 to somebody that it doesn't know if it can trust yet, right? By paying your cash advance on time, it's going Going to gradually increase the amount for you until you hit the maximum amount of $500. So don't be surprised if you don't qualify for the $500. It is not because you didn't leave a tip. It's just because you're a new user and then also Dave is taking into account the health of your bank account pretty much. I go over more about what cash advance apps look for in terms of people getting higher amounts initially in one of my other videos. You can check that out. I will link it down below. And just because Dave gives you a smaller amount initially does not make it a scam. That brings me to another point, which is very similar to this one, which is it lies about how much money it's going to give you. A lot of people are saying it said it would give me $500 and I only have like $25 or I only qualified for $30. What happened? Like this is a scam because it's not giving me the money. First of all, these apps are not required to give you the full amount. As we talked about earlier, initially you'll probably qualify for lower amounts first before you build trust with the app. And then the second thing is that in its advertising, although it does have the big $500 because that's flashy and a good marketing tactic, right, to get people drawn to it, it also is very clear and it says up to $500. It does not guarantee that it's $500 at all to start with. So this is just a really smart rule of thumb when you are using like cash advance apps or just any any type of marketing in general, like always read the fine print and always assume that there's like terms and conditions that apply to things, especially things that are like giving you money. So it's understandable why people will get upset about that for sure. But again, it doesn't make Dave a scam at all. Okay, so there's also comments about people saying like, has any person actually used this app? Like there's a lot of advertising, but I haven't yet met a person who's actually like successfully taken out a cash advance. So I can debunk this one or like not even debunk it, but like I can set your mind at ease for this one that we actually did test out this cash advance and it did go smoothly. It took only a few minutes to set up. We went through the entire process. There's a video of it on my channel. And we also qualified, I think it was for $25. It might've been 35, I can't remember. Um, but that was for our first cash advance. And then it ended up in our account very quickly. So now we have some personal experience proof <laughs> that this app is not a scam. Okay, so I did find a YouTube video saying that Dave is not a good app to use because it donates to charity as a tax write-off and that's exploitative. 
I have mixed feelings about this. This is probably gonna be controversial. <laughs> I don't like to be controversial. As a business owner myself and working behind the scenes and also like doing research, statistically about 75% of small businesses do this as well as larger corporations. So it's like pretty much most businesses do this. I, I definitely don't think that doing tax write-offs by donating to charities means that the app is a scam or even a bad app. And I think if you watch a lot of these videos that are like, Dave's a scam, like you'll watch the whole thing and then it's kind of like, they're not really saying much about it actually being a scam, they're just saying that they like don't like the app. Which brings us to the last point. A lot of people hate on <laughs> Dave and hate on cash advance apps in general because their argument is that you should not be in this financial situation in the first place. They'll be like, well, this is a scammy app because they're taking your money, they're charging you fees to take out money. And in order to avoid this, you just should not be in this financial situation in the first place. You need to budget better. And this is actually, I've found multiple videos where people are advertising their own products on like how to budget, how to handle finances better, like courses and things like that. This just makes me very angry because if, you are searching for cash advance apps, you ain't got time for that. You, It's too late. You don't have time for somebody's course, right? Like if you're needing money quickly, it's because you're already in a predicament. You need to solve that predicament before you can go off and like work on your financial management. And sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with financial management. Sometimes life just happens. Sometimes weird things happen. Sometimes you have to take out a cash advance. I'm gonna like go all Karen on this, <laughs> on this YouTube video because it just makes me so upset that there is such a shaming attitude and like stigma around using cash advance apps because they can be really helpful. If we take the average of overdraft fees from a bank, it's $34. So if we're looking at the, the costs for using the Dave app, which can range anywhere from like $3 to $15, compared to $34, $34, $35 for an overdraft fee, like cash advances can be super helpful. Yeah, they're charging you a fee, but the fee's a lot lower than what you would pay if you didn't use the cash advance you know what I mean so in those situations you have to like weigh which option is better so no Dave is not scamming vulnerable people out of their money <laughs> it's actually helping in those types of situations that where someone would be charged a fee at their bank right so that's what I have to say about that point <laughs> all right so overall based on my personal experience actually trying out this app and researching and just using the knowledge that I know about cash advance apps, I can say that the majority, if not all of the things that I have seen floating around on the internet about Dave being a scam are not actually what they seem. This is why I always encourage you guys to do your own research. Um, a lot of the times people will call something a scam if they don't know enough information about it. So you get the people that, that tend to be more pessimistic about these things and and not think that anything is helpful. Um, saying that it's a scam, you get people who don't understand how to use the apps, that's a big one, and that's why I encourage you guys to make sure you know what you're doing before you take out a cash advance, okay? Um, so there's that, people that have like made user errors um, or didn't like read the fine print and then messed up. <laughs> and lastly, there's people who are selling courses and stuff that will go on and will kind of create a pain point around cash advance apps by like increasing people's shame about having to use them and then offering a solution which is their own product or <laughs> financial product. So those people are biased as well. Um, so overall, like those were the three types of situations that I found. Plus from my personal experience, everything went well with Dave. So I can say in my experience, it was not a scam. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you find that helpful. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all things cash advance. And I will talk.